What's up guys and welcome back to some more Five Nights at Freddy's Killer in Purple Remastered. As you guys know in the last video, we just unlocked the brand new underground section of the game and things are going to get exciting now. Okay, as you guys know, MXES is down there along with uh, a ton of other characters including Eleanor and some new animatronic suits that we're going to be able to stuff the children into. Now, this is going to be an exciting video. Before we get into this, I got to say a massive thank you to you guys because we have officially hit 4 million subscribers. I, would, I just want to say thank you guys so much. This would not be possible without the support that all of you guys show me on every single video, on every single post. Everything that I do, the, the support you guys show me is just insane. So thank you guys so, so much. It, it, the fact that I've been able to be a full-time YouTuber for almost 10 years at this point is insane and just thank you thank you thank you and yeah next up is five million and after that i guess 10 i don't know i mean i was i was happy with 100k 10k 1k it's just been it just keeps going so let's go ahead and hop into the game though and begin all right so we want to go ahead and hop over to the new character wait do we have oh, we don't have them yet that's right so wait in the last video i think all we did was buy the map yeah so we just bought level four so oh my all right we gotta buy a suit though right we have to all right, let's go ahead and hop in though and press play. Now we're gonna go ahead and play as let's do glitch trap. I feel like it's only fitting, right? Um, and then let's do let's go from sister location into the new level. All right, here we go. This is gonna be exciting. I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like. I I, I haven't seen a thing of it. I've only seen like a little snippet of it from the trailer, but that's it. Okay, here we go. Outside. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's just a giant hole blown inside of the wall, like the hole in the wall right here. This is insane. What is, oh, this is cool. What, this is sick. Okay, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place. Now, obviously this is gonna be FNAF uh, Pizzeria Sim, but uh, let's go inside and check it out. Look at the little like uh, FNAF 1 poster on the outside, the Celebrate poster, a classic. Can I actually go in? Oh my gosh, I can, I can go inside. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's a parent, what? Oh, we're in. Fellas, we're here. I like how there's just parents roaming around in here. <laughs> like what? What are you guys doing in here? Oh, you got the, the Fred Bear poster and the Spring Bonnie poster. Oh, that's gonna be exciting whenever we finally get those games. Uh, and then we got the children, which are ghosts, I'm assuming. I, don't, I think they're ghosts. I, I don't quite know. <laughs> they're just completely covered in white, though. So I'm assuming they're ghosts. I don't I don't know. But look at the parents. I I, I don't know why they're down here. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It's supposed to be like an off-limits area, but they're just hanging out down here walking around like they own the place All right, what else we got here? We got some chica posters some random drawings some arcade machines a giant Boulder that's just hanging out down here. Maybe that's one from Resident Evil 5 that Chris was punching around I don't I don't quite know. Uh, we got a little stage though. Okay, and then some more posters and stuff like that now Ooh parts and service. So I'm assuming this is where the suits gonna be. Let's see and Oh, there it is. So in here. We've got a spring Bonnie outfit and she's got eyelashes, which is kind of cool. Also, she's kind of tall, uh, tiny. I mean, look at this. I, I'm almost like, you know, a whole foot taller than her. My ears are about a foot taller than her ears. I'm just saying. Oh, we do have someone following us. I forgot about that. And look at the, oh, the Fred Bear's Family Diner sign. That's cool. All right, so what's our ability for him? Make, oh yeah, I forgot. He has the OP ability. Okay, so look, we press this. Look at this. They all just come running towards us. Now, here's the problem though. We need to get them all in here and close the door before the 10 second timer is up. So, I mean, this character's crazy though. He really is. All right, everyone in. No, close the door, close the door. Okay, good. All right, good night, everyone. Good night. They make no noises. Look, look, look. They're, they make no noise. <laughs> if you stab them, there's no noise at all. All right, how much do we get paid for? Th no way, no. Oh, okay, no, it's not 3,000, it's 250. I was gonna say, dude, 3,000 per child, dude? This is a huge pay. <laughs> I mean, 250 is still good, though, but also, oh, apparently from what you guys are telling me, um, it's a bug at the end of the game where it's giving us all of the money that we've made in, like, our playthrough at the end of every night, though. So, like, let's say, okay, see how we made $5,250, right? If I leave right now, I get in the car, I drive home, which we're going to go ahead and do right now, um, and then I load back it again, it's going to give me my 5250 Wait, what is, oh my gosh. <laughs> This is like something from a horror movie. Why are there a bunch of children out here in the in the cave system, dude? What is going on? Oh, I think it's it's my ability. Since I used it, it pulled every single child in the entire area towards me, which is all of them. All right, let's give this another shot again. Let's see how many we can get to pull in here. Come on, everyone, follow in. No, we're not. They're not gonna make it. Yeah, there's there, there's no way you're not making it. All right, <laughs> we'll come back though. But wait, this raises the question, right? What's this? Because there's. I thought that door would lead to the new location, but no, that giant hole in the wall does. So what does that take us to? Hmm, questions that we need answers to. I mean, we know there's still a lot of Easter eggs that we haven't found yet, so keep that in mind. 
We've got we still have a lot to do in this game. By the way, we haven't even touched the VR section of the game yet. Keep that in mind. Like that's gonna be a, a whole nother series on itself. Like we got a lot to do in this game, so stay tuned. All right, let's go ahead and head out the door though and get on out of here. Look at look at them all. They're all over here now. That, his ability is so powerful. It really is. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Now let's see. Does it carry over from the last time we played the game, or did it reset it? And no, okay, so that right there, you earn 5,250 points. If I go in again and I earn another 5,000, it'll be 10,000. So, yeah, we're about to get paid. All right, so let's go ahead and go here. Um, oh, I don't have enough. Wait, can I buy? I can buy Dreadbear, but I mean, it's Dreadbear. Do we really want Dreadbear? Not really. <laughs> but Pit Spring Bonnie or Scott Cobb? I'm taking Pit Spring Bonnie, all right? I'm sorry, Scott. I'm sorry, okay? I, I, I need Pit Spring Bonnie, okay? He's just, he's my favorite, all right? We need, by the way, we need a Pit Spring Bonnie game, all right? Come on. This fella right here, he's so slept on for no reason. He's so cool. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and hop in. Oh, my, I got an alarm going off. Uh, let's go into FNAF 1, though. Let's hop in as Pit Spring Bonnie and give this a go. I wonder what his ability is going to be, though. Let's see. Has a 10% chance of luring all children. Wait. Does that mean this could be massive? If you hit this, this, wow, oh my, I'm massive. Oh my gosh, dude, look at the size of me. I'm huge. Oh my, dude, this character's so cool. It's so cool. Like, this guy's awesome. I love how his head is just attached by, like, some meat tentacles. I don't know what you want to call that, but that's what it's attached by. It's awesome. Well, they actually, there's no way, dude. You guys will actually follow this giant, horrifying animatronic around. They are. They don't care. They're, they, they, they. They, they, I, I don't know if they're blind or what, but they somehow do not care about following this horrifying monster around the pizzeria. That is just something else. All right. Well, follow me, guys. Come on this way. <laughs> We're taking you guys underground to the FNAF simulator or the FNAF pizzeria sim location. That's where we're going. Or I guess it's like Fred Bear's Family Diner down there. I'm not too sure about the lore of that whole place. Uh, you guys know, I don't really keep up much with the lore anymore. And I'm always very upfront with you guys about that, which I feel like most of us aren't exactly, you know, I feel like no one really knows what's going on with the lore nowadays. Like I, if I have a question, I just go to Daco. <laughs> I go to that fellow right there and he tells me everything I need to know. So I, I don't know where we are down there. All right, come on guys, follow me in here. Come on, everyone pile in. All right, down we go. You're about to stay out. Okay, I was gonna say, we're gonna leave you behind, buddy. You got in at the last second. All right, so this is everyone from FNAF 1 and 2. Now, obviously, when we bring this many into that suit at the bottom, we're going to get paid well over 20K. And when that starts stacking, we're going to be able to buy everything we want very quickly. All right, everyone in here, follow me. Let's actually try our, 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 out our ability here, if I could speak. Uh, Q? All right. <laughs> None of them. <laughs> Not a single. Not a single one followed us from that. Not one. I don't. I, I literally don't think not even one turned around, even looked at us. Not, they didn't even look in our direction. They don't care at all. All right, cool. That ability did nothing. I mean, then again, it's 10%. Uh, and I'm assuming if you do hit the 10%, it's every single child everywhere follows you. So th that's probably why, you know, it didn't work. We got to get lucky with it. Okay, there's just parents walking around in the ruins, dude. What are you doing in here? What's going on? Like, imagine you're in the ruins. You just see this. <laughs> you see a child army running around down here with random parents that look like they're from the year 2090. Like, what is going on? And there's a giant animatronic held together by, like, I don't know what you want to call it, like string meat. I don't know, dude. This, this is just a wild scenario going on in here. All right, everyone follow me. Wait, we can use it multiple times per night. Hold on, hold on. I got to see if we hit this. Okay, four seconds. And we might be able to hit this. So actually, we get like a 20%. Use it. Dang it. Didn't work. All right, well, that's unfortunate. One of these days, though, we're going to hit that, all right? I'm, I'm definitely going in as him again next time we go in, for sure. Uh, here, follow me. Wait, no, they're getting stuck on the door. Oh, no, can I open this door? Oh, I can. It's like we're opening up the floodgates right now. <laughs> Parents, move out of the way. They're all piling in. Oh, my. This is going to be uh, this is gonna be insane. This is going to actually be wild. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Holy, I have a child army. This is crazy. Okay, is that ever? I feel like that's not everyone. Hold on, let me just make sure. I don't want to leave anyone behind. Okay, yep, that's that's everyone. All right, guys, follow me in here. Come on this way. We're going into the parts and service. Nothing to be scared of. All right, everyone in here. This might this is gonna be interesting though because of this curve right here. I don't know if they'll be able to get in here. Oh my, they're blocking the door for all the other ones. All right, come on, everyone in. I think they're getting stuck. Come on, guys, don't get stuck, please. Get in here. <laughs> this is this is about to be a massive payday, okay? You guys need to get in here right now. All right, is that every... Oh, my... They're stuck behind the door. No, come on. Guys, get... I, I gotta, like, bring them over here. It's like I gotta herd them like cattle, dude. Come on, everyone in here. 
All right, is that everyone? Yep, okay, all right, close the door now, goodbye. Bring them all right over here, and I am so gigantic, dude, holy. All right, down you all go. I gotta, I gotta get them before they run to the door. No, no one gets to the door, no! Oh my God! <laughs> They're all slowly, violently walking towards the door. They're not even running, They're just walking. Down you go, down, everyone goes. Okay, is that, oh my, dude, there's so many. All right, is that, is that everyone? Nope, nice try, nice try, and good night. All right, now we gotta shove them all into the suit. We'll be here for the next like 30 minutes just shoving these children into suits here. Uh, you know what they need, dude? The vacuum from Killer in Purple 2. This is the remaster, but come on, you can add in a vacuum. Golden Fairy Cinema, if you're watching this, I'm just saying, you know? Maybe, actually, not even a vacuum. Like, you can add in like a sack or something. Like a, uh, whatever you call it, like, you know, like a uh, uh, Santa Claus's like, sack that he puts all the, the gifts in. Something like that, you know? You just stuff it full of children, then you can shove it into a suit. I, I don't know. Just some way of transferring them all a little bit easier. Or let us, like, interact with the suit from further away. Because, like, look, if I could do it from here, that'd be perfect. All right, into the suit you go. How much do we have? Oh, my, 10,000 already. I told you, this is going to be a $20,000 payday right now. Or cl Okay, they're hiding in the walls. Dude, they're in the walls. The walls are talking. They're living in them. All right, everyone in here. No more goofing around, all right? You guys all got to get in the suit. Also, like I said, if you could right-click, like, throw this, the bodies, that'd be better, too. Because you could, like, throw them into the suit. If that'd be an option, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Out of context, though, that is a weird thing to say. Even in context, that's still a pretty weird thing to say. <laughs> but it's okay, okay? Everyone in. All right, we're almost done here. How much are we at? 15,000. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, this is... It's literally, what, 17,000 in total? Yeah, if that, if there's like two more bodies outside this door right here... Oh, there's only one, one little ghost child. And then this one right here. So close to 17,000. Not exactly, but good enough. All right, now let's get on out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye sign right there. Oh my, look at how bright it looks before you go out there. Holy dude, it's wild. Is there anything else in here, by the way? We haven't really looked around. You guys see anything crazy? It's so dark that it's hard to tell, but I don't see anything. We can't go over there, by the way. There's like an invisible wall, unfortunately, because I wanted to try. Wait, what is that over? You guys see that? What is, oh, aha, thought I wouldn't spot this little guy, did you, huh? What's he doing out there, huh? Just hanging out in the in the caves staring at me from far away for some reason what a mysterious guy he is <laughs> who is that why is he out there uh, we've seen him in killer in purple too but i don't know who that is Just hanging out in the in the ruins though all right let's try out our ability q oh it worked oh you're kidding me that it actually oh we're out of here it's not even worth it it's not that's crazy though we actually hit that i mean if you think about it right it's a 10 percent chance but i used it three times so i had like a 30 percent chance and we actually hit it. That's kind of crazy. I, I, but it's only really worth it if you hit it on like, yeah, look, everyone's following me. It's only really worth it though if you hit it on like the 10, like the, or I don't know, like out of the first two uses, I would say, then it's worth it. But the third one, it's like, ah, you already did your job. You're done. You're heading home. You know, you don't really need it at that point. All right, heading home we go. This is a cool update though. Like, I think this was update was really good. It added a lot to the game and it, it you know, the, the, oh, 22,000. Cause it stacked up that 5,000 that we got before. Um, it didn't like crazily change the game, but it changed it enough to where it's like, it's a really solid improvement. All right, let's go to the shop. Is there more suits by the way? I think, oh, there is. Who else can we get? 10,000. That's the last suit that we can buy. Oh boy. All right. That's exciting. Um, burn trap though. It's 50,000. Eleanor is a hundred and entity is 250. We obviously need to buy everyone, but let, let's just buy Dreadbear just to have him. He's so cheap, why not? We're gonna save up for Burn Trap, though. I definitely want him. Which, by the way, now that we're getting the money to start like snowballing, we're gonna start getting paid huge here. Um, we could do Dreadbear, but since we're trying to make money, I think we just stay as Pit Spring Bonnie for now, at least. We'll, we'll try out the other characters in like another video, but since we're trying to make as much money as possible, this is our best bet here. So after this one, though, um, this will put us. We'll make forty thousand from this. Let's try our ability. Dang it. All right, it has a delay, I think, at the start. I don't think I used it. Um, but it, since uh, since we're, we're going to make another 20000 here, that'll put us at 40000 in total. So then if we go in again, we'll make 80000 Then we go in again, we'll make 160000 <laughs> We're about to get paid huge, dude. We are about to be able to buy everything that we want in this game. Which, honestly, I mean, you could just go into the game files and change it. Or there's, like, a website you can go to to, like, give yourself money. But, I mean, where's the fun in that? That literally, like, defeats the whole purpose of the game. The only time I ever do stuff like that is like if it's broken or, you know, um, if we've already done this stuff before, but this, this is all pretty much new. All right, everyone pile in. Come on. We got to bring them down to the, 
other location. Come on, everyone in. I think we got most of the children, by the way. We got a lot of them. Okay, he's stuck. Come on, everyone get in here, dude. I need them all to pile in. Okay, close the door before they get out. Nice. No, no one escaped. Dude, this alarm, it went off again. <laughs> I have alarms set. Because I'm going to a, a Bucks game, by the way, which I wasn't going to upload today. But I was like, I saw we hit 4 million at this morning. And I was like, you know what? I got to do an upload just as a thank you. All right. Oh, but we hit it. We hit the 10%. Holy dude. It, it, okay. This is the best day ever. 4 million and we hit the 10%. That's crazy. So now every child is going to be following us down here. We don't have to interact with any of them. That's huge, dude. So every, watch. We're going to open this door and they're all going to be ready. Look at, look at, oh my, we did it. We actually hit the 10%. That's wild. I mean, it's not like the lowest percentage. Look at them all. Oh my gosh. So that is a, yeah, that's an army, dude. We literally have an army right now following us. We haven't really looked around in here, by the way. I, I just kind of found parts and service and then we were kind of done. But I want to know if there's any, I, like I said, I know there's new, oh, why is it doing that? I know there's new secrets in the game. He told me, but I, I don't want to do them until like, you know, we've done everything that we want to do and then we'll go back and do the secrets. But I don't know what they are, though. Don't run. Don't yell. Don't scream. Don't poop on the floor. That's a classic right there. All right. Oh, what's the other? Okay. So there's huge Fred Bear. Makes sense because, you know, <laughs> the giant sign right there. <laughs> Makes sense. What if I press it again? Oh, nothing happens. All right. Now, here's the hard part. Okay. Getting them all to pile in here and not run to the door. That's like the worst part. We need them all to go down right here. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. <laughs> I'm surrounded. We need them all to go down right over here because then it, it obviously makes putting them in the suit way quicker. Come on. You guys are stuck behind. The, oh, my. Come on, guys. Stay over. I need like a you need the ability to tell them to stay because you got to think, right? If they're willing to follow you into this all the way underground into this cave, <laughs> you should be able to tell them like, hey, stay here. And then you can like, you know, it'd be easier to stuff them into the suit, right? I'm just, you know, these are all little ideas I come up with. <laughs> I have no idea if they're actually good ideas or not, but they are ideas, and that's all that matters. Okay, no, back away from the door. Everyone away from the door. No, <laughs> stop. Stay by the suit, okay? You're making this so much more difficult than it needs to be. Everyone, down you go. All right, you know what? You made this way harder than it needed to be. All right, guys, so uh, I've got just about every single body into the Fredbear suit, and look, they pay out 500 each. There's a body stuck in the wall right there that I cannot get out. It gave me the option. Wait, wait, it, dude. How did it get in there? Oh, I got it. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think that's every, oh, there's still, yeah, okay. Come on, what were you guys doing out here? Come on. I saw them, but I didn't think there was this many of them. All right, let's go ahead and get these last. No, 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 get away from, the okay, we're good, we're good. Now I can easily stuff them into the suit. So they pay 500 per child, which is kind of crazy. Uh, like that, that's actually insane. Um, oh, oh, no one sees this, no, no, <laughs> dude, why? Why is that a thing? Why? I get punished for the game glitching. <laughs> like, the, who put that body out? How are they already down here? Oh, don't tell me that's what the door is for, dude. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Look at how many of them there are. All right, we need to pull off. How are you guys floating? What is going... Dude, they're, they're spirits or something. How are they floating? All right, this is not good at all. I don't know how I'm going to... Oh, this is bad. All right, can I do this? Can I... All I need to do is make it around them. Please don't catch me. Please don't catch me. Come on, please tell me I'm faster than them. Or at least, like, we're the same speed. Like, make it even. Is that what the door is for? That is what the door is for, I think. That's how the, the police get down here. All right, so all I got to do... No, 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 no! No! What? What? Wait, what? What? No, what? Okay, this is not good. <laughs> this is... No! <laughs> Why is that a thing? Why can I start the elevator from the outside, dude? I just got killed by two different bugs. You're kidding me. That was a huge payday. Oh my, this is awful. That is, that makes me so sad. Guys, I did it again on accident. Again, I accidentally pulled out my knife and now uh, pff, the police are chasing me. <laughs> I'm going to try to make it to the hatch though. All right. That, that's all I need to do. I just need to make it to the hatch and then I, I escape. It's that easy. Wait, I don't know if that's going to, oh my, I thought that was an officer. I, I saw my life flash for my whole eyes right there. Okay. So the hatch, it's right here. I go in. No, oh wait, you have to wait five, okay, no, this is not worth it. I'm not gonna make it, am I? Oh, oh, I did it. Wait, I earned 9,000. I think it messed up the points. Oh no, our glitch, it ruined it. Uh, well, or, or maybe if I get caught, it messes up the glitch, I don't know. 
All right, so wait, if I go in again, though, I'm going to do it again, and uh, I'm going to hope that it, like, carries over again. All right, guys, here we go. The big moment. This should give me enough money to be able to buy, yep, 23250 So I thought Burn Trap was, like, 150 k but he's only 50 k so I could I could definitely buy him now, right? Yep, 62000 Let's go ahead and go over. Burn Trap, here we go. Now, obviously, our next big goal is Scott Cawthon, Freddy Frostbear, so we might as well buy both of those. And then after that, all we need now is Eleanor and MX. E S the entity and that's it then we get to go into the fun stuff the Easter eggs stuff like that we've got a lot to do though let's go ahead and go back in again as burn trap and give this a shot um where's he at though he should be at the end right and there he is so he's got his own area which is interesting it's called security breach but then after that they have like Eleanor and entity which I guess Eleanor has been remastered look it's called remastered so I, I don't know I guess we'll have to find out. All right, let's go ahead and hop in as Burn Trap. Let's do a full playthrough here. So we're going to start in the FNAF 1 and, of course, go all the way into the end of uh, the big cave level that we usually do. All right, so what's his ability? Make parents... What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Make parents... I, I, what? What is this ability? Hold on. Let me... I got to try this. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> So like you just, it's like passive income. I'm getting paid dividends right now. I just press Q and I just get paid. It's a horrible way of getting paid, but like, what is happening? Oh my gosh. So wait, it just, throughout the whole pizzeria, that's just what happens. I have a delay. Oh, let me see, is it everywhere? It's everywhere. It's everywhere I go. Anywhere that there's children, I have to see this. Like we go down, okay, let's go down. What do I look like, by the way? Oh my gosh, I look insane looking. I look very tiny though, right? Like, I don't really look that menacing. I look kind of like adorable in a way. I look how tiny I am. You could pick me up and, I don't know, throw me if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. All right, what's going on down here? So it seems like wherever I'm located is where it does it. I don't know. Like, I'm going to press it again, and they just kind of go to work. I mean, this is cool, but it definitely doesn't pay as much as, you know, the other abilities. Like, there's way better abilities. Like, I think... Anything, anything that gets rid of putting the children inside of suits isn't a good ability, in my opinion. I mean, this is good if you just want to go in and just, like, immediately escape, right? Because, like, anywhere you go, they all just die, and then you just escape, and then you're, you reset, and you can do it that way. But, I mean, if you want to make the most money, I think you just go in as Glitch Trap and do that, or Pit Spring Money, you know, one of those two, and you just kind of, you know, stuff the children into suits. But, I mean, this is still an interesting ability. I, I want to know how much we make from this. I don't know if he'll tell us, though, since it's going to be bugged, but let's find out. Let's go ahead and go back out to the car. Let's go back up top. So, yeah, they're just going to work. Like, I just show up, and they just do my job for me. <laughs> I just head home. <laughs> look at this suit, though. It looks really cool. I want to know if he has any kind of, like, cool... Oh, look. <laughs> He's got the funny run. He's got the funny run, dude. Look at him go. Zoom. <laughs> He's out of here. Zoom. I'm just flying through. You would think this is sped up, dude. Like, if I wasn't talking over this, I could tell you, like, guys, this whole video, this whole part right here is sped up, okay? I'm speeding up the video right now. This is totally not what it looks like in-game. And that would be a complete lie, because it is. This is what it looks like. I just get to speed around everywhere. Okay, so 200. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It's stacked up. So, wait, how much did we have before that? How much did we just get paid for that? I think it was, like, 5,000 or something like that. I mean, that's not bad, right? Okay, yeah, I mean, that's not horrible. We can't afford to buy anything, but... Obviously, we need to stack up some more stuff, but yeah, okay. So, I mean, it's an interesting character. I do want to know, though, what Dreadbear and the other ones do. Let's load in real quick as them. Let's find out. So, Dreadbear's ability. We're just going to load in and then go back to the menu. Kill a random... What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this ability kind of sucks. Like, let's be honest. It's not the best one in the world. Oh, what? What? Uh, did I have my knife out? Oh, I have a... I have my claw out. <laughs> I don't have my knife. I have my claw out. What the... <laughs> Okay, I guess it's illegal to have claws, apparently. This is how he, he runs, though. Oh, my gosh. He's got this run. One paw out, running around. All right, I want to use my ability before they catch me. Okay, so Q. I get one. <laughs> this ability is awful. <laughs> you get one point for that. That This guy, okay. I mean, he's cool looking, but yeah, don't play this guy. Do, don't do it. He's not worth it. He's absolutely not worth it. You get one point for that. All right, uh, who else do we have here? Freddy Frost Barrett. Let's see what his ability is. Come on. It needs to be something crazy. All right. Something insane. Uh, freeze time for 20 seconds. Okay. I mean, yeah, I, I, I could see this being useful, right? Like, let's say you get caught with a knife out. Like, okay, let me pull out the knife. My icicle. 
<laughs> let me pull out my icicle that I get arrested for pulling out, apparently. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, use our ability here. So this should freeze time. We should be able to make it to the car, right? Because then the police can't catch us. Something tells me, though, right? I'm going to press this. They're going to be frozen, and they're still going to catch me. How much you want to bet? All right, let's see here. So Q, they're frozen. I walk by them. Okay. Hey, look at that. It actually works. Can I? Yeah, I can hit them and everything. Okay. The only problem is I still can't get to my car. <laughs> So I, you still got to use the hatch escape. So, I mean, how useful really is it if you think about it? Oh my gosh, look at this. They're all just running. <laughs> that is quite the sight to see. Okay, I'm, I'm arrested. All right, you know what? I'm going back to the main menu. <laughs> that ability is interesting, I guess. Kind of cool. Kind of interesting. <laughs> is the best way to put it. All right, let's see what else we have here. So after that, we have Scott Cawthon. Wait, wait, is there anyone else after this? Burn trap? No, that's it. Okay, Scott Cawthon, let's do this. FNAF 1. What's his ability going to be? Turn gigantic or something? I don't know. Uh, makes you able to go through walls. Oh, cool. So you don't need to hack. You can just do it. What the? Okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> this ability is awesome. All right. So yeah, if you like flying around, hacking, stuff like that, this is the character for you. All right. This is very useful, actually. Very useful. Like, I'll be able to use this in the, in the coming videos, and we'll be able to, like, fly through stuff and see what we can find. But, I mean, obviously, down here, all you're going to see is, you know, Pizzeria Sim. Because that's, that's what this is right here. It's just like it didn't load in the tunnel. So, yeah. Wait, where, is that? Did I just see the... Oh, yeah. Okay, that's him in the cave system down there. So, yeah. Uh, so, wait. If I press deactivate, I just fall through the map <laughs> and die. I'm dead, I think. <laughs> the game is frozen. It killed me. All right. Well, guys, I'm in this video here. That was some more FNAF Killer and Purple Remastered. Is it going to... I, I think I'm just... Wait, what is happening? Uh... All right, I think I'm just frozen here forever now. I'm stuck here for eternity. Well, that was some more Kill and Purple Remastered. I hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thank you guys so much for 4 million subscribers. Stay tuned for the next video. We have a lot to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.